Hello, my name is Ben Holton. I'm a professional videographer and a professional hunting guide. And I'm gonna give you a short tutorial on what lens you should use and what application. So those of you who enjoy watching my hunting videos, I expect those to start rolling out again about mid-November. Uh, until then, maybe I'll do a few more of these tutorials or some other things. But really those hunting videos will start coming out mid-November. When selecting lenses, there's three things that you need to look at. One, it, the first thing is what type of camera you have. You have crop sensors like this. This is a 70D with a crop sensor. And then this is a Canon a7 III. With a crop sensor camera, you need to multiply whatever number you're at by whatever the crop is. So this Canon 70D is a 1.6. So a 35 millimeter, if you're at 35, is gonna be about 50 millimeters. So first thing, check your camera, see if what sense, what sort of, check your camera, see what sort of crop it is. If it's a full frame, then you use whatever number it is. The second thing you need to look at is focal length. And I'm gonna give you a few different scenarios. If you're self-filming yourself, so you're, for instance, in a tree stand, uh, and you want that camera on you, like sort of vlogging style, you need something around 35 millimeters. So you need a wide angle, such as this, this is an 18 to 55. Great for self-filming you, for walking around and filming yourself. Uh, the lens I have on this, camera that you're seeing right now is a 16 to 35 again great for just close in uh, like if you're in a tree stand uh, if you want to get that shot like sometimes when I'm turkey hunting I'll have a camera facing at me showing myself calling or shooting the gun you need to be around 35 millimeters or less uh, GoPro which I believe is you know like about eight millimeters excellent for using to self vlog so about 35 millimeters or less for self-filling yourself, that close in about 10 feet or less. The second focal length that I recommend is between about a 50 and 100 millimeters. And that's for that oh, probably like 10 to 30 yard range. Great for uh, if you're wanting to get a video of your dog retrieving a bird. If you want uh, turkey hunting, is great for about 15 to 100 millimeters. Uh, stuff that's in that like 30 yard range. The two lenses that are gonna be the best for video and hunting is gonna be somewhere in that 35 and less and then in that 50 to 100 millimeters. So the third thing is aperture and this is where lenses are gonna get expensive. And aperture is how much light that lens lets in. So your less expensive lenses like this, I believe this is around a 4.5 or a 5 aperture is gonna be probably under $100. The thing is, is it's not gonna do very well in low light. So that first uh, half hour of shooting time, you might struggle with this lens of getting the light and being able to see stuff with it. Um, you can see, so this is a Canon 50 millimeter 1.2. You can see how big that glass is. And that's what you're really paying for is that big glass which is gonna let in a lot of light if you're trying to film in that first maybe hour of light you really need something like a 2.8 aperture which is gonna let in more of that light it's also gonna cost a lot more uh, so one thing to consider if you don't have the money for it uh, you know I'm a I'm a big fan of using the GoPro, which is not very good at um, low light conditions. Use your phone. Uh, use your phone and you can use the light on your phone and it's gonna make a huge difference. Just that little added light in using that camera. You know, same with a lens like this, which is like a four or five aperture. It doesn't tell me on here. Uh, but if you're gonna use something like this, the vlog as you're going out, uh, if you have a light that's gonna make a huge difference, um, or try to get in, or try to get in some natural light, you know, like in a spot where that light's coming through the forest. Unless you're filming in low light, I really see no need to have that real wide aperture. 
So those are my recommendations for some lenses. I hope you get out there and go film some hunts this year.